the KUSI News at 6. Well, when it comes to the 50 biggest U.S. cities, San Diego saw the biggest year-over-year -year jump in home listings, with more than a 17% increase over the past year. Interest in the housing market is also rising, with Google searches for homes for sale up 6% as of late August. Plus, Redfin's demand index, which tracks real estate activity, has climbed 4%, nearing its highest point since May. Other cities that saw large increases were Anaheim, Las Vegas, and Phoenix. And joining us now to talk about the San Diego real estate market is licensed California real estate broker, Mark Powell, thanks so much for joining us right here. Your real estate is always the big talk of every single family. Tell us about the market in San Diego right now. Okay, Tony, so here's what's going on. I've got good news. Home prices are coming down, so we've received home drops for the last two months. Home prices are still high. The median home sales price was 885000 The median home price for sale right now is still at 950 But the good news is we're out of the Million Dollar Club. What I mean by Million Dollar Club, San Diego County and Orange County, their average home prices were over a million dollars, which is pricing out about 90% of the buyers in San Diego County. They cannot comfortably afford to purchase a home with the salaries that they're making. What should buyers do if they desperately need a home right now, but these prices are so high, where should they look? Well, a lot of buyers are looking out of state, but there are some more homes coming on the market. This is what's happening. We're having uh, parents that have children that can no longer afford to live in San Diego. Let's say they go off to college to get a job. When I say children, I'm talking about people in their 30s and 40s. Parents want to live closer to their family. So they're moving out of San Diego, they're moving out of California, just to be by their grandchildren and their children. So that's kind of increasing the supply. Also, interest rates dropped a little bit. So when interest rates drop, it makes homes more affordable. But as for the people that need to purchase, what I've seen happen, and this is a kind of weird technique, is we're getting people pooling together to buy homes. So you might have four people that are currently renting, they're paying a landlord. They might pool together purchase the home themselves, so now they're no longer renters, they own the property. And you can see that with families, two families coming in to, to buy a property. To put some context to it, and it's extremely expensive. In the 90s, I purchased a house on the salary of a school teacher. Wow. If you're a school teacher today and you want to purchase the same house, because I looked it up just before I came or how much it was, that same school teacher would have to make about two hundred dollars to $250,000 a year. So it's extremely stressful for first-time home buyers. But as we're seeing the market come down a little bit, there's some optimism that if salaries can start to increase and home prices can start to come down, they may be, there may be some relief around the corner. If you're a seller, you're feeling good about what's happening right now right oh yeah well sellers are golden you know those people who purchase their homes in the uh in the 80s and the 90s they're sitting on uh millions of dollars of equity some of them are opting to sell some of them have refinanced and they refinance at the 2.5 or 3.5 per interest rate so it kind of takes the incentive off for them when they have to jump up to six point three or six point four so they're still holding on but i believe that they will start selling and i do believe that you're going to start seeing some softening in the market i don't think there's going to be a crash but it is going to start to soften all right mark powell thank you so much for joining us on kusi news at six o'clock and giving us your insight on the san diego real estate market really appreciate you being here sir thank you tony all thank right you. thank you